Hello, dear students. Today we are going to talk about powers. What kind of powers we are going to talk about? We are going to talk about powers of 10. Okay. What if I have 10 to the first power? What does that mean? Look at this number. Look carefully at this number, 10 to the first power. This is equal to 10. We all know that 10 times 10 equals 200. So 10 to the second power is equal to 100. What if I have 10 to the third power? What does that mean? I am multiplying the 10 three times to itself. 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1000, which is 10 to the third power. What if I want to multiply the 10 to itself four times? What does that mean? It is 10 to the fourth power. I am multiplying the 10 to itself four times, and this is equal to 10,000. So as you see, I am writing the powers of 10 uh, as, uh, as the standard form, which is like a number uh, and a smaller number on top of it, which is called the exponent or the power. And I can write it in expanded form, which is when you multiply the number to itself. And the uh, answer, as you see, I can find it easily by counting the number of zeros. What if I have 9 times 10 to the 6th power? That means I am multiplying the 9 by 10, 1 million, which is a 1 followed by 6 zeros. And that is equal to 9 million. So exponents or powers is a shorter way to write repeated multiplication. As you see, I wrote the number as exponential notation as an exponent. I wrote it as ex expanded form when I multiplied it to itself and the standard form which is the answer that I get when I multiply the numbers. The other concept that we are going to learn in this week is the place value. 